2019, the CEO of UK-based company believed that he was on the phone with his boss when he instantly transferred 220,000 euros following his orders. He later found out that he was actually speaking to scammers who imitated his employee's voice using AI technology. Another story of deception and domestic violence. Technology facilitated abuse is becoming an increasingly standard component of domestic violence due to increased use of smartphone and internet. Yes, I'm talking about deep fake. While there are a variety of ways that video and other content can be altered to misrepresent video and events and create a false scenario. In this video, we will know what is deep fake, how it is achieved and what kind of threats it brings to the society that we all should be aware of. Deepfake is an ability of putting someone's face or voice into another person that creates images and videos so realistic that we can't agree that it is fake. Look at this Tom Cruise video. I know you may think this is real, but it's actually a deepfake video. It was uploaded in TikTok and many people had thought it's real. Now let's talk about how can we build this kind of video. There is a first order model website where you can study the research paper and also a github repository for the actual demo creation of deepfake video. You can run it locally using docker container or you can use it in google colab. Deepfake technology gives rise to bonds of cyber crimes. Deepfake term was coined in reddit which used AI to put celebrities face on common people. The use of deepfake technology is increasing in popularity because users can create high quality realistic visuals and manipulate videos and audio to create false situations. Many experts state that deepfakes are the biggest cyber security threats nowadays. Using this technology for the bad intention can ruin someone's life by using their social media platforms, photos and videos. This technology has evolved to the point that it is accessible to everyone at free of cost. There are online communities where people discuss and sometimes create non-consensual sexual deepfakes to be used for deception and harassment. We don't have to go far. Nepali content creators in TikTok use deepfake technology unintentionally and unknowingly. They use filters which has deepfake effect in their videos. Even some of the creators who has knowledge of deepfake have involved in creating deepfake effects of popular figures in Nepal. Politicians like Kipioli, Prachanda and celebrities like Raja Samal have their deepfake effects version in the TikTok. Although these videos don't look realistic, in near future it will be of great concern to differentiate between deepfake and real video. And here in Nepal as well, creating this kind of videos of popular content creators and doing non-consensual harassment, blackmail and public shaming are being practiced especially with the female creators. Here is the example. So what are the threats of deepfake technology? As we have observed, recent tech development have advanced towards biometrical technologies such as face unlock. Smartphone locks, bank accounts and passwords rely heavily on face recognition now seem to be at risk with deepfakes which is evolving at such a fast pace. In today's time, deepfake technology can actually fool humans. It uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to generate realistic images and videos that can be difficult to tell apart from real ones. This technology has been used to create fake news stories, manipulate elections and even impersonate celebrities. The potential for defects to fool humans is very real and has a serious implication for our society. So after big companies and cyber security team realizing these kind of threats that are introduced by the defects, big tech companies are aware of this harmful potential and are thinking of building powerful tools including cutting edge technology to detect this kind of video. It's hard for an AI to closely recreate human behavior. And at last my question is, what do you think about this technology? Is it good or bad technology? So that was all about this video and if you think this video added value to your knowledge, consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel.